Hey guys, this is I'm Gregzy, and would you believe it, two years later, I am finally releasing an updated video on how to get onto blocked websites. Um, my original video I noticed blew up um, when Let Me Watch This was actually blocked out, which was a free movie streaming site, um, not entirely legal, the uh, the links that were posted on it, but um, the site was blocked and a lot of people like to use it, and the Pirate Bay also, which I don't believe the Pirate Bay um, should have been blocked. I understand why it was, I can see why it was, but I I tended to use it for things like free music packs or different torrents like that. I never actually used it for any illegal downloads. Um, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to get back around this in a new and updated video. Uh, my old one pretty much was a really bad method of doing um, exactly what we're going to do here but yeah so we let's get started um, the program we're going to be using is a different web browser and it is called Tor so Tor straight into Google I'll have a link straight to this web page uh, in the description and Tor is basically an anonymous uh, web browser it's in it's these guys have taken the web browser Firefox and they've added a load of things into it it adds layers and layers of security I mean it's I can't put into words how secure this is for anonymizing yourself online um, which is a good and a bad thing depending what you want to do with it but um, let's just stick to what we're doing with it today we're going to be using it to visit these sites which uh, were blocked in the UK so Tor browser bundle for Windows that's what we're going to be using we're running Windows 8 and we're going to download the Tor browser so I may as well just stick that onto my desktop so I know where it's at and when that's finished downloading, finished already for me. Um, this is the little install you'll get. Once you run that file, uh, you'll get this little install asking you to install. You can choose your language from the list. Obviously, mine is English. And you can choose where you want to save it. Now, I am going to see if I've got enough space on there. Yeah, I should do. Um, my hard drive is actually getting very full, filled up at the minute. I've got a solid state drive, which isn't very big. Uh, yeah, so that's the Tor browser bundle set up, and I'm going to run Tor. Now, this is the first thing that will pop up on uh, the, the Tor install. Let's just uh, minimize that down, and that's so it's not distracting. There we go. So, which of the following des best describes your situation? Uh, the, this computer's internet connection is completely clear of obstacles. This is the one that the majority of you guys are going to be using. Um, this one is for if you are, say, in a school or if you are at college, um, but I really wouldn't recommend using this at either of these two locations. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult and you'd have to find out some of the network settings that are in and around your uh, place of use. So we're just going to connect in here and it'll say connecting to the tour, loading a load of stuff, um, none of that you need to know about. What it's basically doing here is connecting you to someone else in the world who has set up a relay circuit and you will be getting their IP. So if I am to go into here and go my IP, this is the, the Tor browser as you can see up by the top left up here. My IP and uh, let's see what is my IP address. So according to uh, this website, it now seems to think that I can't even work out where that's at. Hmm. It's, it's running a bit slow, but it, it doesn't think that I'm in the UK is uh, the basic idea I'm trying to get over to you. So uh, I have no idea what that is. It's dedicated Tor server. So let's see, um, we had two websites that were blocked for us before. We had the Pirate Bay and we got an error site blocked and we had letmewatchthis.com and we had an error site blocked. So let's come in and try the Pirate Bay. Let's see. And we will try let me watch this.com. And there we go, the Pirate Bay is loaded up. We can now go in and download whatever we fancy. Um, I would probably pick up some free music, maybe not some of the illegal downloads that are in here, which is the entire reason it was blocked in the first place. And uh, we can go and relax and watch a film. Um, of course, we wouldn't be watching any of the illegal uh, uploaded, like all of these that are on the front page. We'd go and find a, 
a small movie maker who's made some rubbish indie film. But yeah, that is how you get around it, guys. So, um, what you want to do every now and again when you connect in, you'll it'll give you a different IP every time you open the browser. But what you want to do every now and again, you will get that an error saying that the website is blocked. Just come up to this little icon up here. It looks like a little bit of an onion or something, and click new identity and that just basically refreshes and gives you a new IP now if you're in uh, let's say a government that's wanting to block websites out and stuff for you guys uh, this should work around a lot of uh, like big big companies who are trying to block things out it works around ISPs in the UK it works around schools in the UK if you know the right settings and yeah it's a very very powerful tool um, if you wanted to look into some other cool stuff to do with Tor, I'd recommend looking up uh, Deep Web and what Deep Web is. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too deeply, but uh, just be very careful with Tor. Um, it can find a lot of websites which aren't available on the normal internet. And yeah, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the new updated version of How to Access Blocked Sites. And yeah, peace out.